Hey, what's up everybody? Faye here. Welcome back to a new video. Today we'll be going through episode 14 of non file Cat Variants on our Java series. I just realized I forgot to pull up my Google Docs for this series. However, as you guys know, the previous two episodes of this series, we have actually been hunting down the final Cat Variant that we've needed for this series. The Siamese cat. Okay. And now we got a bit of a new uh, cycle. Thanks to last episode's research. Also guys, if you guys saw the previous episode. Uh, if you guys watched it. I kept calling it episode 12 when it was episode 13. So we are on, actually on episode 14 now. And last episode was episode 13. Even though I kept saying it was episode 12 in the video. So, yeah. Have fun with that. Uh, but I'm still in this goofy village. So, I'll probably move over to one of the nearby ones. Yeah, that's probably a smart thing to do. I mean, I don't know if this one's really been giving me anything. Boop. Alright. Um, let's get the close. Not the main one, the third one. Alright, let's just copy paste these coordinates into the chat. It's about 200 blocks away or so. Boop. Alright. I don't think that was the right one. Hold on. Is it? Which one am I at right now? I'm at the... I know which one I'm at. Hold on. Oh shit, I guess I am. I guess I did put in the right coordinates. I just gotta go a real long distance to meet up with this village. Alright, um, I gotta go about, what, 600 blocks? Which direction do I have to go in? This one. Alright, let's keep going in this direction for like 600 blocks or whatever. Let's close this shit in the process. I'm not trying to see that big ass red beam in my face. Hmm. Well, hopefully what should save me time is now that I know that uh, the Siamese cat, along with all the other ones other than the black ones, now that I know that they only spawn during the day, I can just sleep during the night time, and that'll actually just like save me quite a bit of time with me just walking around waiting for a, a, a cat variant that's never going to spawn due to the time of day it is. So, yeah, it's really useful information to have now. Also guys, if you guys want me to do another song cover Like, I, I know another song that I want to do a song cover on uh, I'm going to have to just get to it I don't know when I'll have time to be able to do it Probably on a weekend Just due to things and stuff You know what I mean? So... If I can find a time to do it, then if you guys would like to see that, just let me know. I mean, the last one we did was Polo G's song 21. We did a song cover over that. And the, one of the problems with it is that it also got copyright claimed. And I think that they will eventually take the copyright claim off. Because I had a song on my music channel called Fate Knox. You guys should probably check that song out. It was also called 21, and I used their beat for that. And then I, uh, like, it was basically just a remix. I did a remix on it. And, uh, well, they copyright claimed it, and then the copyright claim went away after, like, a couple months of it being on it. So, I'm hoping it's the same case for my, uh, for my, for my song cover video as well. Along with the audio version, because both got copyright claimed. And hopefully I actually release the audio version in the way I want to release it. That way it doesn't look like I skipped a day of record of uploading. Whenever in reality I scheduled that audio version to upload at that time. You know what I mean? Hold on, hold on. Let's close that because I need to open this up first. Okay, so I'm in the right area. I need to go this direction a little bit. So it should be in this direction. 
we'll walk in this direction a little bit more. I should see it pop up eventually. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, it should be in this direction. Um, need to go this way. Getting hell, man. Okay, let's just go. This way. It's probably just over this fucking hill. And once we get there, I'm gonna stay there for the rest of the episode and just sit there and hope that it pops up. I think it said. I think my research said that a uh, a cat will spawn every minute. So we'll test that. I doubt that that's true, but we'll we'll see. I guess. Oh, I saw a cat. At least I thought I did. Maybe it was... Maybe I just saw what I wanted to see and I didn't really see anything. Unless I just saw that cow from afar and thought it was a cat. Could start listening in. Because if you know anything about cats, they're fucking loud. Like, once they start meowing, they won't stop. At least in this game. They will make themselves noticeable. If you let them. Hmm. It's kind of the reason why I kill the ones that, uh... That I don't need. Are there any beds in this village anyways? Like, fucking hell. Where would the villagers even sleep at? Don't think any of the houses down here have a bed. This one might. Unless this is another Bruin stand house. Like that one. They, they might be the exact same house. They are the exact same house. So where are the ones that have beds in it and shit? Where are the villagers sleeping at? the hell no I just realized that uh the research I did to try to figure out how to get a cat variant to spawn more often in these villages like like it actually helped me figure out like because every time I set up a villager breeder in my world the amount of cat variants that pop up around it afterwards is crazy hell that could be the that could be the way to go that could be the way to uh get the final cavern and just build a uh just build a uh villager breeder in the base maybe it'll eventually spawn i can finally end this uh, series off The only problem is, I think maybe I can use wheat to make them breed, but I have no idea if I can even do that. Please tell me this house up here has a fucking bed in it. Because if none of these houses have beds, then oh my god. Because I think these villages all need to have at least one bed. And if, like, I need, no, not at least one. I think all these villages have to have at least four beds for, for uh, cats to even spawn in them. And this village doesn't even look like it has one. So I guess this village is just a bust. Huh. What's the coordinates to the uh, final village? Okay. Let's get this copied. No, not this one. This one. The one with the negative coordinates. Yeah. Yeah, let's copy paste these hoes. Hell yeah. Bam. Okay, so it's about... Like 400 blocks in this direction. Let's do it. Fuck it. Fuck it, we ball, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> okay, I'm glad I didn't fall in that dumbass pit. Oh. Man. So. I wonder how y'all are doing in y'all's lives. 
Y'all doing good? Put it down in the comments below if y'all are doing good in life. Or at least you're living and you're able to sustain that. Cause like, hmm, I'm just curious on how y'all are doing. Um, like me personally, I am able to live in the situation I'm in, but there's still problems with my situation. Hell, my situation would probably be much better if, like, like the biggest problems I have to deal with is, like, uh, trying to figure out how, what I'm gonna do in life. And then, like, and then, like, dealing with my sister and dealing with shit in school type shit. Like, my sister caused a lot of problems, though. Like, not just for me, for the rest of the family, too. I'm not even going to get into detail on that, but, yeah. My sister's just not the greatest. It's whatever. We're playing Minecraft, not therapy. Let's, uh. Damn, man. I'm like. Sorry. I don't know that one. God damn it. I need to start unplugging that thing whenever I record videos, because I'm. Um, like, that's not the first time that that's happened, and that's. scared me almost every time. Like, I think I just had, like, a mini heart attack whenever she started talking. There's here's something you don't see every day. A pumpkin inside of one of these, uh... House. Is there a pressure plate? Kept sounding like it. Any of these houses have beds in it? Like, fuck, even just one? No. Not by the looks of things. Not the ones I've looked through so far. Hold on, hold on. Maybe these ones over here will. This one does. Okay. What about this one? This one does too. There, there are houses up here. Okay, good. So there's at least two. Come on. Okay, we made it up here. Any houses in this? Well, any uh, beds in this house? Damn. Okay. Could have fit two beds in that house, but I don't know. We had to be a little bitch house. Okay, this house doesn't have beds in it either. What about the ones up here? Are there any up here? No. Let's just get up here and see, I guess. What is this light? Something up here. Is it just farm? They literally just farm up here, nothing, okay. <sighs> Man. Okay. Well, this village sucks. I'm heading back to my main village. I actually need to put in the coordinates to my main village. Uh, I have a theory for what I could do to try to get myself more uh, cavernous to spawn. What the fuck? That was a llama? What? Hi, llama. I haven't seen a llama in a minute. Hmm. I gotta go this way for about a thousand blocks. Yay. I like fifteen hundred. Hmm. Whatever. Ow. What's up, sheepy? Well, this will be fun. And once I get back to the main village, the main village, and then like one other village, the village that we stayed in for the last episode, those two villages are really the only villages that I can do anything in with this type of shit. But 
Yeah, I have an idea for the main village. The villager breeder, obviously. And I think that might be the only way I can do shit. Because, like... Yeah. Plus, it'll keep all the villages in one place. Which, the iron golems spawning will be annoying. But at the same time, you know what else is gonna spawn? Fucking cats. Speak of the devil, there's one up here. The hell? There's just a random ass cat up here. Like, why? There has to be like a nearby village here, right? Is this close to like one of my other villages? This has to be, right? No way in hell there's just a random ass cat out here. Hmm. Whatever. I'll take it. Went ahead and killed it. Got some extra string in the process. Don't know what I'll use that string for yet. But okay, here's the village I was talking about. Okay, so are all the cats just spawning outside the village? Is that why I'm not seeing any in the village? Fucking hell, and that cat was loud when I saw it too. So what the hell? Well, are there any beds in this village? I haven't seen any. Might as well check again. I'm not staying here for too long though and I'm trying to get back to my, my my main village. My base even. Hmm. I'd say we just get back to the the base. And then we get started on a villager breeder project. I'd say the villager breeder should be like the build for it should be based off of my house a little bit. Like using the same building blocks. Like I kind of want to use a theme of like. Um. Acacia wood. Just because we're in a savanna. If you do like savanna themed houses. Using a bunch of acacia wood and shit. I feel like cobblestone would go good with it. But I don't have much cobblestone. So I'm probably going to have to go on a mining spree. Before I can. Or at least go on enough of a mining trip to where I can actually collect more cobble. Then once that's done, I can then start using cobble or whatever. Yeah. I could probably just like use uh, acacia for the walls and the roof. And then use like, I don't know, oak wood. Or birch wood or some, or some kind of wood for the floor. Hell, I saw there was a mangrove swamp near the, the near the uh, the other village. One of my other villages that I'm probably gonna end up finding before I end up getting back to the main base. Um, jump, be jump, be jump, be jump. So if I run into that, maybe I can grab some like mangrove. Uh, Whatever those things are that you can grow mangrove trees out of with. Those prop and ghouls or whatever the fuck they're called. Grow some mangrove trees at the main base and then use that wood for the floor. I mean that type of wood doesn't look bad. Here's the village I was talking about I think. Is this that village? Is this the... Yes it is by the looks of things. This is the village next to the mangrove. Yeah, there's the mangrove. Good thing, too. It looks like it. I don't know what's going on with this guy. Oh. I answered that question. There. I guess it's a thunderstorm. Usually I don't get to sleep if it's just like regular rain or something. There we go. Got rid of the rain, though. Could chill, here for, could chill here for a little bit longer. Or I can go back to the base and just go ahead and start setting up for a, a villager breeder. I'm not going to be breeding many villagers. Just lock all the villages in there. Whatever, whatever villages I don't get in there, I can just murder. Make the job so much fucking easier. You know what I mean? Just like that easy 
Oh, hey. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll do a little bit of uh, exploration in this village a little bit. See if there are any cat vans in this area. Might as well, since I'm already here. Now that dirt block is bothering me. There's one singular dirt block just sitting there in that specific spot. Like, what the what the fuck is this? I guess those bozos are stuck. I'm not fixing that hole either. I don't live in this village. Hmm. Come on, game. You got it? Yeah. Made it into the uh, good old mangrove. Holy shit. Okay. Lag's hitting me like this. Why? Maybe there's a new chunks. So they're still trying to load. Maybe. Who knows what's on the other side of this swamp? Wonder if they actually added swamp villages. Oh my. I'm not even going to grab any mangrove wood. I'm just going to grab those prop angles or whatever the hell they're called and then just go home. Come on, game. Just let me walk. You got a game? You got it? Yeah. Yeah. Jumpy, jumpy time. Okay. That thing is kind of... What the fuck? I love lag. jump down, hurt myself, and get the mangrove proper angle. Cool. I want to get... Hmm. I want to get that one as well. Hey, this frog. Wait, there's two different types of frog here? There's the white... There's a white one, and the, there's an orange one. Get those two to breed. Wait, there's tropical fish, too? What kind of area is this? Hey Froggy, you stuck? Goofball. It's kind of interesting. Two different types of frogs right here. There's only three types in the game, so finding two of them right next to each other is interesting. Kind of a new thing, you know what I mean? I can collect some mud while I'm here if I wanted to, but I don't really want mud. What would I even use it for? I think mud's only really used for like a decorative block type thing. Doesn't really get me much other than that. Hmm. Okay. This fucking red line shit. Can't see through it. I don't know if the game knows this, but... Fucking hell. I don't know why it's doing this. Uh, I gotta go... Gotta go that way, right? Yeah, I gotta go that way, about 300 blocks or some shit. Get out of this mangrove area. This swampy bit. Get under the water, and then we'll swim. Yeah, swimmy swim. Yeah. What the hell are these noises? That was actually kind of nasty. It was kind of realistic, though, to be fair. Those are kind of like noises that you'd be hearing while you're underwater. Just those weird, like... You know what I mean? You do tend to hear some really weird fucking noises when you're underwater, so it does make sense. It just makes me a bit uncomfortable when I'm playing a video game and that's what I'm hearing.
<laughs> Man. In band, we got solo and ensemble on Saturday. This upcoming Saturday. And, uh, well, when possible, I'm going to make a video about it. Probably, like, the day after front solo and ensemble happens, I'll do a video on it. Just to, like, sum up everything that happens. Uh. There and there. Now that we made it back to the base. I'm going to give up on whatever it was I was trying to explain earlier, and hmm, let's actually figure out a spot I can set a villager breeder up at. If my game doesn't want me to fucking run into a wall for 20 minutes. Alright, cool. Speaking of 20 minutes, how long have I been recording for? Damn, almost 30 minutes. Just talking and trying to get my way back here. Huh. Fucking hell. This is probably just going to be the episode on its own. Fuck me. Huh. Alright, so let's find a spot to set this thing up. Huh. I guess the spot where the beds are now wouldn't be a bad idea. I might have to destroy the house that the cats are in. Huh. And just move them. Maybe I can throw them in with the horse, but... Uh. Huh. I don't know if they'd all be able to fit. Hey, can y'all blow those shit out? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, yeah, so I'm literally just missing one. And I don't have it tamed yet, so. Yay. Actually, get a bit more dirt, cover this up. This spot could work. I'd have to find a spot to actually dig up some dirt at. This wouldn't be a bad spot. Patch that spot up. That's not a bad spot for a villager breeder. And it's a bit further away from my stuff. So I can keep it separate. And all that. And that way I don't have to move my cats or anything like that. I will have to move the beds when the time comes. But other than that, that's it. Watch. I'm going to end up building this entire villager breeder. And then before it even gets done... I'm going to end up finding the last cat variant and ending the series off. So the build's going to go to a complete waste. If that does happen, then whatever. At least I'll complete the series, but I'll just feel like I've wasted my life doing that kind of shit. You know what I mean? Putting all that time in just to end off the series before, it even, before I even finish this build. I'm going to try to move as many of those guys into the villager breeder as possible. Whoever can't get moved is getting murdered, so. These guys better hope they can all fit. Better hope there's enough beds for all of them. Because if I end up getting too many people to fit in all the beds or whatever, then some the rest of them are dying. Whoever's not in the villager breeder is dead, so. Hell, whoever pisses me off while I move, move them in there is dead. So I'm not going to start building it yet, but I do want to start getting things together for it. Oh wow, mangrove trees have already grown. Have both of them already grown, or just one? Looks like maybe just one. There's only one real good way to find out, though. Could have been both, I don't really know. Yeah, it looks like probably both, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Alright, well, how much, uh... Okay, wow. I actually have no acacia wood left. I'm gonna have to go harvesting for some. I'll do that in the next episode for sure. Let me dump my shit, though. How much time we got left in the video? Okay. Actually, I'm gonna end the episode off here, guys. So, uh, if you like what you saw, please leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss an upload. If you want to check out my other socials, you can go to the About section of this channel, along with the description of this video and all my other videos. And with that all being said, 
My name is Fate. This has been episode 14 of the Hunt for All Cat variants on my Minecraft Java series. And I'll see you guys in the next video where I uh, either go back into this world and uh, start on that villager breeder project or I'm playing